Three Little Rock firefighters have now tested positive for COVID-19. Today, THV 11's Vanessa Page spoke with the Arkansas Professional Firefighters Association about their new call to protect the firefighters on the front line of this pandemic. Definitely a challenging time uh, because uh, this is a highly contagious virus, so we're having to exercise extreme caution. Little Rock Fire Chief Delfon Huppard says 33 firefighters have been impacted by COVID-19, three of them testing positive. 25 of them are fire recruits, five are fire training instructors, and then three of them were assigned to our operations bureau that respond to calls in, in the community. Arkansas Professional Firefighters President Wade Marshall says it's a new unseen threat. A house fire is a very uh, dangerous environment to work in, but we're adequately prepared, radically equipped. We train for it all the time. The association is asking Governor Asa Hutchinson to look into the legality of an executive order to have this presumptively covered under workers comp. Nursing homes, especially uh, one or two of them, have seen high infection rates. What if there's somebody burns popcorn in a in a break room and you're going through to make sure the place is not on fire. Practices for taking leave vary at departments across the state and this would ease fears. Yeah, I've talked to several guys that that have never dreaded a tone going off or a call, but now they're just just scared to death about what kind of call it's going to be. They were also concerned about how contracting COVID-19 could affect their lungs long term. If you can't be a firefighter anymore, that you could have that as a line of duty uh, retirement where you can retire under our disability retirement system. Marshall says this would also take care of their families if the worst happens. If one of our members passes away from COVID-19 infection, that would open up uh, the ability for them to make a claim under the uh, uh, line of duty death benefit. Marshall says all first responders should have this coverage. In Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THV 11 News. We also asked about available personal protective equipment for firefighters and we're told that varies by department. THV 11 also reached out to Governor Hutchinson's office for a response to the association's request, but we haven't heard back just yet.